Hello and welcome to the Amorati Test Kitchen. I'm Lauren and today we're gonna be making one of my absolute favorite breakfasts. I don't know if you've seen many of my videos, but there are numerous times where I just tell you how much I love eating oatmeal. And this is just a little variation on oatmeal. It is called a French toast and apple baked oatmeal. And I use quotations because we're not really gonna bake this, we're gonna put it in the microwave. So it's really easy, it doesn't take very long, and it has a lot of really healthy ingredients in it. It's just a really, really awesome way to get your morning started. So our first step here is to add our liquids. We have milk, you can use dairy milk, and you can use non-dairy milk. Whatever you prefer, it works fine in this recipe. Make sure the mug that you're putting your ingredients in is microwave safe. Um, I just have a really large mug here that can be used for drinking or soup. I like to make French onion soup in these, oatmeal. So usually we all have a microwave safe mug at home. So you shouldn't have any problem finding one. And we will put in an egg, one whole egg for a little extra protein. And I'm going to add in one and a half pumps of our vanilla bean syrup. This has real vanilla beans in it. It adds really nice, vibrant vanilla flavor. If you don't have this, just use regular uh, vanilla extract, or you can omit it altogether. But I just really like that extra warmth in my oatmeal, and it adds a little more sweetness to it. Next, we're going to be adding in our French Toast Artisan. This is going to provide that maple flavor, cinnamon, brown sugar, very deep, cozy flavors to our oatmeal. And we won't have to add a ton of ingredients to um, get that flavor profile. All we need is a teaspoon of this. It's super easy, it's really delicious, and it pairs really good with apples. French toast and apples are like very, very great combination if you've never tried it. One teaspoon is all you need. I love this artisan so much, and I'm personally not a huge um, French toast lover, but if you're adding French toast flavor to something, I'm all for it. Usually for breakfast, I'll do like pancakes, oatmeal, yogurt, something like that. Let's get mixing this up, okay. Make sure everything is nice and mixed. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. I cannot wait to dig into this. I don't know about you guys, but when I find a really good breakfast recipe, I usually make it every single day for like six months. And this is one of those recipes, it is so good. I'm probably gonna be stuck on this for a while until I find something else or go back to one of my old favorites. All right mixed together, so we're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients here. I have some salt. I have a little bit of ground flaxseed. This is just one tablespoon. You can use this, you can omit it if you don't want ground flaxseed or don't have it. You can also use chia seeds and any other additives that you wanna add some like extra nutrients into your oatmeal. Just go ahead and throw that in there. It's fun to kind of play around with the recipes and see what other ingredients you can add. And I have about one and a half teaspoons of brown sugar here. I'm gonna put about half of this in. And then if I want some more sweetness, I'll be able to sprinkle the rest on top of my oatmeal. I'm just gonna mix that up one more time before we add our oats and apples. Mix, mix, mix. Next, we're going to add in our oats and our apples. I'm using Honeycrisp apples here because I think they have a really nice um, level of sweet and tart, but it's not overwhelming on either end of the spectrum. Um, but use any apple that you prefer. And this is half of a large apple. So if you have those really small, teeny tiny ones at home, just use the entire apple for this recipe. And if you have a really, really massive apple, just use half of it because it'll be way too much for this small bowl of oatmeal. Eat it for a snack later in the day. All right, we'll mix it up one more time. Beautiful. And I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for two to three minutes. Um, check on it at about two minutes. If it feels like it needs a little bit longer, put it in for another minute. 
but around three minutes. That's all you'll need. All right, I'm gonna go put this in the microwave and we will see it when it's done. Our oatmeal here is done. I had it in the microwave for three minutes. When it's finished, you can eat it as is, or you can top it with some more milk. You can put some granola on there, throw on some peanut butter, almond butter, whatever toppings that you want. It can be very, very versatile, whatever you know tickles your fancy that day. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of milk because it's really hot and I wanna eat this right now. So hopefully this will cool down a little bit. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on top. And a little bit more brown sugar. Just a sprinkle. Get that nice sweetness right at the top. So let's give it a try. This looks so good. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's really hot, so I'm gonna be careful that I don't burn myself. Mmm. So good. That is so good. This oatmeal recipe is so good. It is by far better than anything that you're gonna buy in the store in a bag or one of those little cups. And it's also customizable. If you are not a French toast person, you can use any of our artisan flavors. We have hazelnut praline, we have cinnamon bun, we have birthday cake, cotton candy. If you're feeling really wild, cotton candy oatmeal might be a little bit interesting, but it might be delicious. I really hope you enjoyed watching this recipe and that you give it a try at home. If you do, please let us know in the comments below what you thought of it. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new recipe. We post new recipes every single week. You can also follow us on social media at Amoretti on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. See you next time. Bye.